Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel today with the second ever Nintendo video on this channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Jack Specific Metroid figure, not World of Nintendo Metroid, Samus Aran with Morph Ball. This I got off Walmart and I actually haven't really seen much info on this figure online. Like, I have seen people who found it on stores but I have not seen anyone who has actually seen any kind of official pictures made by Jack Specific. So it's very interesting that this figure kind of popped out of nowhere. But now, first off, let's take a look at the packaging. Here's the packaging of this figure. You can see this actually is a Metroid branded box. Well, before, back when Jack Specific started their Nintendo line, they had it under the world of Nintendo. I'm pretty sure mainly because of the release of the then Super Smash Bros. game, they decided to do this. But back then, everything they made was World of Nintendo. So we had Mario, The Legend of Zelda, Metroid, even some slightly more obscure ones like Star Fox. Pick and Pikmin, but after a few years of doing the whole World Nintendo line, the like had just vanished, and they still kept the Mario license. It's having doing Super Mario figures, but Zelda, Metroid, etc. They all out of nowhere just disappeared. But then at the beginning of this year, 2023, out of nowhere, literally online pictures in stores of this Metroid figure and two Legend of Zelda figures for Link and Zelda, out of nowhere start popping online. And people also start finding them in stores. And this is an officially licensed product. So in here it does say Jack Specific. And this definitely looks like the packaging Jack Specific would do. In this case, as you can see, it's Metroid branded. Here is a look at the figure, and in this case it does not promote the World Nintendo line or the other two Zelda figures, because this doesn't really come from any specific wave, like they did not make any other Metroid figures. And here, let me just try to fix the camera here. Here is a the description, it says Metroid Prime 2, so I guess it's to coincide with a recent game called Metroid Prime, it's Samus with Morph Ball. Samus Aran is the galaxy's foremost bounty hunter. Her mighty Barria suit grants her incredible abilities such as her Morph Ball ca capability and powerful arm cannon. So there's some other languages if you're interested in reading any of those. Again, here's a render of the figure. It says Metroid. I actually got this figure the same day I got Bowser and the classic Sonic and classic Metal Sonic at that same Walmart. You can see here some slight dents in the packaging. That's all because of how this packaging basically traveled San Francisco. But that's kind of it for the packaging. Let's take a look at Samus herself. And finally, here we have Samus Aran with her Morph Ball. I forgot to show it before we did the beginning, so let me remove it here for a moment. I'll show it later on the accessory section. And here, looking at Samus herself, it's a really well done figure. Now, this is not Jack Pacific first Samus figure. Again, as I mentioned on their World of Nintendo line, they had 2.5 inch version of Samus. But this is an entirely new sculpt. Now, zooming into the details, the paint job has been really well applied. As you can see here, a really nice shiny look here for her helmet, the green visor. And the, they definitely captured Samus' shape. Of course, it's a woman in this me metallic suit. Really nicely painted, really nicely detailed, and this figure is $10. Just like Jack Specific's 4-inch Mario line, and their 4-inch Sonic, the Hedgehog line. So, it's insane that such a detailed figure was able to be sold that cheap. Here we have her cannon. Here's a look at the back. Yeah, really nicely detailed overall. And very accurate, and here's a fun fact, in the first ever Metroid game, the player actually did not know that Samus was actually a woman. The box or the game never really specify Samus' gender, and well, the name Samus doesn't really imply male or female, so the player would play the game, and it wasn't until they finished the game that the whole congratulations game over screen would show that Samus is actually a woman. This was a huge surprise at the time, and I honestly think it's so cool to make Samus one of the most important female characters in gaming history, because the player would not even know that they were playing with a woman as their character, so I think that is really cool. And that's kind of it for this history on Samus and the whole details. Let's take a look at the articulation. Now, 
The box says she has 17 articulation points, which is pretty impressive. First one is here in the head. It can twist slightly, not barely any kind of up and down. It's quite limited. She also has a waist joint. And here's a really interesting kind of joint she has here. Really hope the camera can show it, which lets the arm move like this. Um, I believe it's called a butterfly joint. I'm not sure. I've never seen this articulation before, so that's a first year on the channel. And she also has, well, these shoulder pads are posable. I'm not sure if that's part of those articulation points. She has a bent here at the arms and, and the elbows. But here's the thing. She can also move her cannon, but I would not recommend that because, as you can see here, you can kind of move it, but you kind of heard the clicking sound. But that's because, let me zoom in, you can see that some of the paint has already scuffed off. Now, I only moved this piece at most ridiculously four times. So I can still, I guess this is a issue on the factory, so I recommend to be very careful and not pose a cannon. It's not entirely necessary, you're just going to keep scraping that paint off. And let me zoom out here again, I'm sorry. Sam is, is resting for a moment. And here, same thing with the other arm, instead, but in this case, her hand is posable. This is really cool. She, can, she also has some ball joints here at the thighs, I believe it's called. A knee bent, which something else I noticed, that's a slight scuffing in the paint that's also been happening with the knee joint. So yeah, not the greatest supply of paint. So you can put her in this pose, similar to some of the Metroid posters, and barely anything at the foot. So, yeah, that's kind of it for the posability, for the articulation, the posability. But it's a really well posable Samus figure now. I, I don't have any of the other Metroid figures that Jack Specific made for the World of Nintendo line, so I can't really compare and say, oh, this figure's very articulate. Oh, it's not that articulating compared to other Samus figures. I know there is a good smile company, Figma, but apart from that, I don't really know what other Samus figures exist. I know there's a Zero Suit Samus. But that's kind of it for the articulation. Let's take a look at her accessory. With her only accessory being the Morph Ball. Now this is entirely circular piece, nicely detailed. I made research and this is a gadget Samus uses where if she touches it, she literally turns into a ball. Now, I can't really imagine how painful that must be and how she can still see as a ball. But, she can kind of hold it, like this, but it's very large, and there, there's no like peg or anything, like how the Space Share New Legacy figures have peg on their hand, so they can hold the ball. In this case, you'll, you'll see that she has no grip, it kind of just rests in her hand, I'm having some difficulty doing it here on screen. Let me try again. This is something I'm pretty sure a lot of people will like about this figure that she can hold it. Okay, there it is. She can kind of hold it. And that's it for the accessories. Let's do some size comparisons. First off, here we have Samus next to the Jack Specific Modern 4 inch Sonic Tails and Knuckles. And to give you a good sense of scale, Samus is around 5 inches tall. And again, Samus has 17 points of articulation, while the Sonic features have, at most, 14. In this case, mainly being tails, because of their rotatable tails. But apart from them, this Samus figure is pretty fantastic. Like, you're only paying $10, the same thing you pay for any of the Sonic figures, the same you end up paying for the Samus, and same thing goes for the Legend of Zelda, Zelda, and Link figures. Those are also a great deal for the price. But, let's do some other size comparisons. Here's Samus, next to Classic Sonic, 2.5 inch Classic Sonic. And here's the thing. I wanted to compare the Samus figure to the Super Mario Bros. movie 7 inch Bowser, but I had such a struggle to do the Bowser video because of how massive the figure was. So I had to put him into storage for a while, so I won't be able to show him for some other videos, but if you're interested in seeing how this bow how Bowser scales with Samus, check out my classic Sonic video because there I do a comparison with with all four and from that vacation trip I mentioned: classic Sonic, classic Metal Sonic, Samus, and Bowser. So if you're interested in that scale, go check out that video. But again, really nicely sized Samus figure. But now for a, another the only other Nintendo comparison I can also do. It's with this 
Animal Crossing Villager. Now, this is a 4-inch figure which I found in a discount store. It's also an officially licensed Jack Pacific product, but just like Samus, this is a figure I have not seen any trace, official trace, of this figure. I mean, a lot of research and they found that it was also part of the World of Nintendo line and was also a part of the their branch of Animal Crossing figures. But later on, as I mentioned before again, the line ended, but they just kept the Mario license. But here's the thing. This villager came in 2021. Yeah, I made research in the box says 2021, but the mold says around 2014 or 2015. This is basically a repackage of that world of Nintendo figure. But the box for this Animal Crossing villager said Animal Crossing, just like how this Samus figure is, is licensed under Metroid instead of World of Nintendo, this villager was also branded under Animal Crossing and not World of Nintendo. So let me know in the comments if you like to see a review for this villager. But yeah, a kind of small Smash Bro display. I'm not really intending on doing a Smash display, so don't expect many other Nintendo figures here on the channel. At most, some other Mario stuff. But now let's do some other size comparisons. Here's Samus next to Bugs Bunny and Lola Bunny from the Space Jam New Legacy Moose Toys line. Again, I think this is not bad enough scaling, but in the moment you'll see that that's completely tarnished right when we take a look at. Um, Marble Legends. Yes, this is where the 5-inch scale is noticeable. This figure is very undersized in comparison to these. Again, with Sonic, he, she doesn't look too bad. But here with some Marble Legends, yeah, it doesn't work. I think Samus should be around 6 inches tall in order to be a bit more on scale with how she'd scale with these Marble characters, but... I understand Jack Pacific has their own scale, and I'm not even sure if they're trying to do like a Smash Bros scale, which of course is all over the place because of the amount of characters, franchises represented, they can't get everyone right. But that's kind of it for the size comparisons, I won't bring out some Transformers this time because I also have them in storage so I can't show them right now. But they scale around this size as well, but that's kind of it for the size comparisons. And overall, the Jack Pacific Metroid Samus figure is a really cool figure now. Again, that's something else I've noticed apart from no official pictures of this figure existing on Jack Pacific's website, or at least um, the research I did did not show that. I also found that on Facebook Marketplace, there are actually scalpers of this figure. I've seen people buying this figure and selling it for like $20. Do not fall for those. This figure is $10. And I actually think the figure is so fantastic, they can actually pass it off as a $20 figure. She's very articulated, like seriously, I've seen more expensive figures be less articulated. And she has almost the exact amount of points of articulation that the Super Mario Bros. movie 5-inch figures have, and those are $20. Sure, they're saying they're premiumly detailed, that they have the acrylic eyes, etc. But seriously, this figure sh shows that even at $10, you can get some pretty fantastic figures. And overall, if you're doing a Smash Bros. display or you just want a Samus figure, I recommend to find this one. Like, I don't really know how expensive the original World of Nintendo figures are, and maybe you prefer those. Again, I don't really know if this is like a massive improvement over those figures. Like, I have noticed that she's one of the slightly larger Samus figures by Jack Pacific. So I leave it up to you if you're interested in finding this figure. Again, I've seen her at Walmart. I haven't seen her at Target though. So I merely recommend searching for her at Target. I mean, at Walmart. Again, I haven't seen her at any Target. I'm sorry there. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments what you think about the Samus figure and overall these Nintendo reviews. I don't have that many other on the way, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.